You know, when I was searching for my first uh, Gonit fountain pen, I had a few criteria that I made a list of and I really want to hit these criteria. Now, the first one is that it has to look like a traditional fountain pen, uh, whereby it can be in the traditional cigar shape or the flat top. Next, the nib must be exposed. Uh, I do not want any hidden nib such as the Lamy 2000, that kind of thing. It has to look like what everybody considers a fountain pen to be like. And I scoured left, I scoured right, and I finally came across the uh, perfect fountain pen for me at the point of time, or rather the perfect gold knit fountain pen. And this is the Platinum 3776 Sentry. My name is Kenneth and welcome to the Anyhow channel. And before we go on, if you enjoy the content, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to see more content and want to be notified, please press the bell icon. Thank you very much. I would just like to add a small disclaimer that I am not sponsored in any way to do any fountain pen reviews. So the Oshino that I got here was actually obtained when I was in Ame Yokocho in Japan one year ago. Well, also my holiday and I actually bought it from a very nice pen store there. Maybe next time when we can travel, I will do a video on how we can get to this pen shop. Um, well, the prices it gave me were really quite fantastic. Thank you. Please enjoy the video. The 3776 is a pen made by the Japanese company called Platinum. Now, Platinum is one of the three big pen companies in Japan. Uh, I think the biggest is Pilot. Yeah, I need to think for a while, right? Followed by Sailor and then Platinum. Now, the name of the 3776 basically is the height of Mount Fuji in meters. So they like to reference, you know, you know those traditional Japanese stuff. And I think it's very nice to throw back to a mountain that everybody looks up upon. The 3776 is probably the most popular model in Platinum's lineup for their gold nibs. I think there's a few reasons for that. It is well, very solidly built and it's also at a very acceptable price point. Now, adding to the addiction, uh, the 3776 comes in a myriad of colours. The one I have here is the Oshino, which is the demonstrator, but it also has some more normal colours such as black, white, uh, Chartres blue, Burgoyne red, Laurel green, and some special limited edition colors. Uh, some of the names include Campo, Rocca, you know, they are all very gorgeous looking. But today we're going to focus on uh, the Oshino that I have here today. Now, moving along to the build quality, the 3776 is actually made from solid resin. Uh, my version is the Oshino, which is the demonstrator. Now, let's start with the cap. Let's talk a bit more about the cap. So let me just unscrew it to make it easier to show you guys. Now at the top of the cap, actually there is a very interesting nut. This is in the shape of a mountain, uh, symbolizing Mount Fuji. Um, it does not appear on all models. Usually the limited edition or special editions will, will get them. Your standard Chartres Blue or Burgoyne Red actually don't really have this fe feature. And moving on, as you can see from the rhodium clip, uh, it's actually finished very nicely. And lastly, there is actually a very nice cap band that states uh, Platinum 3776 Sentry made in Japan, as you can see over here. Now, Platinum has some uh, patented technology. From the inner cap, you can see this is actually their slip and seal uh, technology. And what Platinum promises is that if you leave your pen uh, untouched for two years, you are still actually able to write with it. Uh, by just uncapping the pen. Now, I actually haven't tested my pen, uh, well, I haven't left my pen untouched for two years, but um, at one point I actually did misplace this pen. Uh, but I found it back after six months, and you know, usually if you use some other pens such as the Lamy, Safari, even after a week, they are completely dry. But this pen actually still writes, actually, the ink level never really changed. So basically, this is a uh, there is a spring and when you actually close it, you can see how it actually seals the pen in. When you actually screw it in, screw your pen in and it actually exerts the tension onto the barrel. So in essence, this basically seals the nib shut. Now moving on to the barrel. Well, the barrel is actually made from the same resin as the, as the cap. 
it generally has a very sturdy feel, um, well, which is very different from the softer plastics that you get from lower end pens. Uh, one thing you note is that at the center of the barrel, this section, this is actually a bit thicker than the end of the section. So there is actually a bit more roundedness and it feels actually very good in your hands when you actually uh, hold it on. There is a bit more, there is a bit more, uh, well, it's basically a lot more comfortable when you hold it on this way. And also at the end of the pen, as you can see here, there is a metal band. Um, well, this makes the pen not suitable to be eye dropped as, you know, metal contacts water for too long it might corrode i wouldn't risk it with this pen now let's talk about some of the features of the 3776's nib there is actually a very beautiful heart shaped breather hole in the 3776 nib and there is actually a very nice stamping of the platinum logo and the word 3776 on it uh, this nib is actually 14k and you know when you think that a uh, gold nib has 14k carat gold um, you think that there is some bounce and some give, but for this nib, it is actually very stiff. Uh, my 3776 is actually a medium and it writes more like a European fine. And I feel that there is actually quite a bit of feedback when I used to write this nib. Um, with regards to the flow, I don't think that this is a particularly wet writer and I'll show you more in the writing sample. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention just now is that this pen is actually a cartridge converter. I actually really like cartridge converters because I change my ink so often and it's really very handy to not have such a big ink capacity and to waste ink when I just want to change ink. So, and also the, actually the converter is actually a very well made converter. I have never had any issues. I can't say the same for other brands, but yeah, it's very well made. It fits nice and it's actually very reliable. Now let me start with the writing impression. So let me just write something. Huh? Platinum. 3776. Oshino. In. Fine. Okay. Uh, as you can see. No, this is actually not a fine. It's actually a. Me, it's actually a medium nib. So as you can see, the nib length isn't very, very wide. Let me do some pressure writing. So if I just go on um, vertical strokes with no pressure first, with increasing pressure, there is virtually no line width difference. So it's actually a very stiff nib. You don't get much or any line variation. Uh, some horizontal strokes, no pressure, medium, and many pressure. Likewise, you don't get too much of difference. I'm going to do the loopy thing next so you can see if there's any give or if there is any flex. I will try to apply some flex on it, but again, there is no flex. Basically, the pen writes with a bit of feedback. Um, it generally feels quite nice to write. And I'll just write the usual phrase, right? The quick brown cat jumps over the monkey uh, I tried and basically the, the line width isn't very very thick at all in fact the medium feels like a European fine and let me just do the wetness test right so if I just call it this way and just smear the ink as you can see it's just not very very wet now in conclusion I really did enjoy the uh, Platinum 3776 Century Oshino um, this is actually a very good writer it is not the wettest of writer and I think for students it might be very good for school where they don't provide good quality paper to write on anyway um, if you are not sure whether you like a gold nib um, this is actually a very capable writer. It has never let me down. Uh, well, some things to note include that um, well, the nib is actually rather fine for whatever size they write. Overall, this makes an excellent first go nib pen and you should consider it if you have that kind of specific uh, needs and uses whereby you only start with low quality paper. It feels great, it's not too expensive and generally very, very decent. Thank you very much. This is Kenneth from the Anyhow channel. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching to the end. Thanks.